You testified that it was Linda McRae's idea to remove herself from the interrogation room. That's right. But isn't it the fact that that was your idea? Yours and Detective Gonzalez? We all decided together. Detective Gonzalez testified that Antron told him that he had penetrated the jogger, but you just told the DA that Antron was very clear with you that he did not penetrate her. So which is it, Detective? Because both of you can't be telling the truth. Objection, argument. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Order! Order! Sustain. And because neither you nor Detective Gonzalez kept any notes of the interview, I guess we'll just never know why a 14-year-old went from saying that he had never heard of a rape in the park to allegedly confessing to it. Played it. Jamal Finkley, Black Tree TV. I've, I've told this to everybody, but Netflix has a lot of great material, and this, I feel like, is the most important thing that they're releasing right now. So you guys play a, a, a big part in this story because, like, so many uh, people that get caught up in the system, it, the legal representation is, is one of the hurdles that that young men and young women, and you know, have to have to accomplish. How does it feel to just play a part of, play a role that so many people you know, sadly are familiar with from, you know, from a, from a personal stake. The awareness that, I think that most people that have an awareness of the judicial system generally comes from episodic television, hmm. mm -hmm. right? Hmm. I didn't know what CSI was. 10 years later, CSI has, you know, propelled in, in the interest of uh, the, the, I think the, growest, the, the largest growing uh, uh, major is criminal uh, Forens forensics. Forens really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, it, you know, like. Well, that's good, because we don't need it. <laughs> in, <laughs> in the 90s, everybody wanted to be a lawyer. You know, yeah. uh, you know um, I remember growing up and watching this guy here be a lawyer, and for the longest <laughs> time, I wanted to be a lawyer. Until it dawned on me that these guys were actors, and that's what I wanted to be. I wanted to be guys <laughs> playing the lawyers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the media plays a, a super important role in, in, I think, opening the imagination, right? That's, that's what we're appealing to. We're appealing to people's imagination. I think that great art, when, when that's its purpose, what we're trying to do here is to, to stoke the imagination, to, to grow society's ability to empathize yeah. and to see themselves inside of a very, just an insane situation. Yeah. And I think, you know, uh, there, I think that collectively, I, I believe that most black people know that, you know, because of our, our, our modern struggle, that we know that we're not that far away from a situation like this ourselves. Mm. Yeah. You know, or, or, or one of our relatives or friends has, has faced, you know, has had an interaction with the, with the legal system. And it doesn't, it's not skewed in our favor in yeah. any way. I think this is an extreme look at, at you know, just how far, the depths that, that it, can, it can take you to. Um, and being aware is a very, very important thing. Yeah, it's, it's, it happens far too often, and even the journalist you're talking to right now has been wrongly incarcerated for over a year. Oh, for, man. For so I mean, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I felt the story like from that point. And one of the one of the big things that they're doing in California is they have a new bill SB 10, where it'd be no cash bail, right. so that they could, could try to even out. Because I think some of the people make decisions because they're just they have trying to, to get out. outside, yeah. like whatever sure. I could do to get out. Well, I'll right. say this. I'll well, say that. You as know. much as like right now, one of the great injustices of the current criminal justice system is, well, I mean, two million plus people are incarcerated. But on top of that, I think probably the greatest injustice in the in, like in in the as it's currently consistent is the millions of additional people who are not technically criminals yet right. who are stuck inside the system because they can't make bail. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. what is that system? Yeah. Right. We have created a like a a, a non entity of of incarceration where you are simply stuck. I mean, these are debtors prisons. We're back in Victorian sure. England. I mean, this, yeah. that is insanity. It's precisely yeah. what it is. Yeah. It's what it's built after. Yeah. Well, yeah, and that, and we haven't, I mean, I'm sorry, maybe taking the conversation, no, 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 but no, we, 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 like, we literally haven't updated the idea of crime and punishment since the Victorian yeah. era, right? Since the idea of like, well, we just warehouse bodies and, and, and we are so far away from anything that looks like <laughs> like like we are trying to rejuvenate people and put them into a path. I mean, yeah. is there any reason, if you are anything other than a, a, an incredibly violent felon, right? 
Okay, that person, I get it. You need to take that out of the general population because that is a threat to other people. But for any other crime, is being locked in a cell a good use of time, energy, money, or a way to make a more functional citizen? I mean, I, I'm really legitimately, yeah. like, yeah. what are we, what do you think yeah. you get when you do that to somebody? <laughs> it was a strong motivation to solve and close this case as soon as possible. So in comes my client, okay? 15 years old at the time. Never been in the precinct before under any circumstances. And they working. And working. Until his mother comes down and puts a stop to the interrogation. It was neither a voluntary statement nor a truthful one. And the evidence to support it, it isn't there. Which leaves us room for reasonable doubt. I, th I think that that is crazy to think about. This is highlights that this story or, the, or these, these five kids that became popular, but like you said, there's so many more people in there. Do, do you think that the awareness of seeing shows like this and people being able to, see, to, to adapt and uh, uh, you know, feel the characters would make people open their eyes and, and, and their biases towards people that they think are criminals? I hope so. I don't, I don't think a movie, I don't think there's a movie that's ever been made or will be made that's gonna actually like accomplish that on a large scale. Right? Yeah. We're talking about or do the whole thing. Or right? do all the work. It can be yeah. a brick in the yeah. wall. It's a spark. It can yeah. be a spark, though. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate you guys' performance. Y'all keep on doing your thing. We'll keep on watching. Thanks, Bob. Right, appreciate, appreciate it so much, man.